I think it's stuck or something. Anyway, it's an unfair advantage that the English have over us with their classical sounding voices. Take, for example, Edward Woodward, the equalizer. Sorry to see his show canceled, but <clears throat> you know, that guy, uh, how do you explain a guy who's a uh, 160 pounds, five foot eight, 60 years old, taking on the meanest thugs on the streets of New York. I mean, he doesn't use a gun because he has that voice, you know, that, uh, are you a victim? Are you being harassed by bullies and felons? Then call me the equalizer and I'll humiliate your foes with my penchant for scathing rhetoric and fear invoking vocal tonality. I'll amaze you at how quickly I get back to you. <laughs> Hang up the phone. You're using up my tape. Are you the humiliator? Those who victimize the weak, helpless, and infirm call me that. But you can call me friend. Or call me Robert McCall, which is my name. I'm unarmed, except for my voice. But I warn you, I'll use it if I have to. Stop or I'll speak. The rest of you vermin, stay where you are, or I'll unleash the full fury of my natural English flair for rhetorical invective. What do you say? Shut up, man! I know what you're thinking. Did I use five big words or did I use six? Well, in all the excitement, I seem to have forgotten myself. But being as I'm a veritable walking thesaurus and could, through the use of sesquipedalian verbiage, reduce you to a sniveling, speechless wretch, the question you have to ask yourself is, do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? We don't, but it damn, let's go, let's go. I need a shrink, man. Yeah, me too. Come on, come on in the car. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. I can't pay you. I don't have any money. Are you freeloading, mooching mendicant? You opportunistic, grasping, clawing loser! <coughs> Go ahead and run. Add spineless cowardice to your pitiful personality profile, you miserable, pathetic wretch! What are you looking at? You eavesdropping, bug-eyed geeks! Go away! Go! Go! Go to commercial! Go! Go! 